Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'll be going over how to successfully pair and use uh, an Apple iPhone with the Apple CarPlay system in the 2020 Land Rover Defender. Uh, this is a Defender 110 first edition, but CarPlay as well as Android Auto comes standard in every single Defender. Uh, this 12.3 inch screen here uh, it's part of the PV Pro um, Land Rover Jaguar's next generation of infotainment. This is actually the first car to come out with it. And uh, this screen is on the S trim and higher. So the base Defender doesn't get that digital screen, but you do get the 10 inch center screen on every single Defender model. So as far as connectivity goes, unfortunately it is not wireless. There's no wireless Apple CarPlay. There is no wireless Android Auto. You have to use the USB. Um, right now we're using the normal old fashioned one. Uh, there is also a type C, which I am 99% sure that that will also work. I don't have a wire to test it. We'll be using this one today. So let's go ahead and start up the car. So this is your um, home screen on the PV Pro system. Uh, it's basically divided into three sections. So you have navigation in the center here You have phone and on the uh, right side you have media sources uh, There is a way to get Apple CarPlay to show up on this menu It's faded out at the moment because we don't have anything plugged in All right So the simplest and easiest way to pair up the phone is to simply plug it in with the USB So I have my unlocked iPhone 10. It is currently running iOS 13.6 Got the USB in hand. We're going to go ahead and plug that in. So then you can see you get the notification to allow while locked. You want to go ahead and allow that. And on this screen, you either will get CarPlay to come through or you will successfully see in the center here that the phone has been connected. Now, this is not with Bluetooth. This is with CarPlay. Uh, to access CarPlay, you can actually simply click on this icon here where it shows Lenny's phone or you can see it pops up right here in the uh, left kind of menu section. I also want to quickly go into the settings icon and you can see Apple iPhone settings are inside the all category and you can either turn on or off CarPlay. So if you want the phone plugged in to charge, there is also a wireless charger right down here. But if you wanted to have it plugged in and charged, and not use CarPlay, uh, it would come up in this section here, as you can see right there. Now we're gonna go back. So to get into CarPlay, simply click that icon. And now we just switched over to the iOS system, Apple Car CarPlay system. Now to get back to Land Rover, it's nice. Uh, you have access on both sides of the screen to still access the Land Rover um, system. So you have a home button you have a CarPlay button, you have a phone button, and you have a navigation button. On this side, you have your parking system as well as settings. So for instance, I can go here, switches over to the map, go here, switches over to phone. Right now, that's also CarPlay. So these two do the exact same thing. Or we can go home where we can have a split view. Now, whatever is playing through CarPlay comes up on this right section, and there is a really nice uh, album cover graphic behind the text. It looks very premium. That's awesome. I love how they did that. Uh, you can pause it from here. You can play it from here. You can mute it from here. Uh, and you can also change the source from here. So this little CarPlay system or uh, icon here, you click it, and then you can actually go ahead and switch out of CarPlay's media and any other source here, which I find awesome. Uh, now, going over the screen itself, a uh, very nice 10 inch high resolution screen. Everything is crystal clear. It is a glossy finish. So just be aware um, there might be some reflection issues, glare issues. The, only the screen itself has a very warm white balance. Um, as far as the color temperature, um, this is the warmest screen I've seen uh, out of all the CarPlay systems I've reviewed. Not that it's a bad thing. It just looks a little different than what I'm used to. I'm used to more of the cooler temperature, more of the bluish white. You're, you associate that more with LEDs. Maybe they programmed the LEDs in this to mimic 
uh, more traditional lights. Uh, maybe it's less straining on the eyes. Um, going from there, the refresh rate isn't the best. It's not the smoothest I've seen, but it's it's doable. Um, there is a slight delay. So if you're quick with this, uh, you might end up messing up. All right, so moving on from, you know, screen resolution and uh, color temperatures, let's load up an app like Google Maps here. And uh, now, while the whole real estate of the screen is not used up by CarPlay, um, I'm okay with that because they allow you to have these shortcuts right here on the screen so you don't have to actually exit uh, CarPlay to access other modes of the car um, infotainment, which is awesome. So I'm okay with them not using the whole screen. Now, that being said, the screen is so wide that even though it doesn't use up the whole screen, it still looks premium. And I like, I am totally okay with that amount of real estate of the screen being taken up. Um, looks great to me. I like how they implemented it. Uh, again, like all of the recently done uh, CarPlay systems, it's all curved at the edges, which gives it a little bit more of a premium look. Okay, let's go back to the home now. We can swipe over here. You have your um, kind of your split view of all different things going on. Um, and we can load into Spotify, uh, which gives you nice big icons here. Um, very easy to press and use while driving. Uh, now going from here, let's go to the uh, digital driver's display. And I have it set up to show media in this center display here. Um, you use the right side of the wheel to control everything on that screen. Right here is a volume rocker. But uh, I like that they uh, have added the ability to overlay the album cover um, slightly kind of faded. Uh, interesting placement, but it's it definitely adds a nice premium feel uh, versus if it was just black with the letters. You the artist, the uh, album, the uh, track title, where you are in the song, and the album art behind it. But like I said, it's nice that they have that little bit of a graphical artwork there for you to see. If I were to change songs, you can see it changes the background just like that. Now you do actually have the ability to uh, change your audio source from this display. Uh, and you can go ahead by clicking the circle here when you're on the main menu. Just like this, you go ahead and click that circle. Then you go over to the little music icon and you scroll down, click audio source. And from here you can choose radio um, or whatever media devices are connected. And right now uh, my phone ver via um, CarPlay is the only option and you have it right there. So that's nice that they threw that in there. Again, I really wish they implemented more features with the driver's display. A lot of brands seem to be limited in what they're allowing right now. Uh, hopefully in the future, uh, I will be testing iOS 14 um, soon as well, but hopefully in the future automakers allow more uh, usability with CarPlay on these displays because it just makes sense to have it right in front of your face uh, versus having to do everything there. And then the last pointer I want to make out with kind of the whole steering wheel cockpit uh, system is of course you do have the voice button here. So if you do long press this, it will pull up Siri. Never mind. Okay. Um, but that's pretty standard in all these cars. Uh, the button is nice and conveniently placed. It's a little bit of a stretch if you're driving, you know, in your normal placement, but it's not hard to get to at all. Um, obviously this button here will also work if you are receiving a call um, within CarPlay. Uh, this will pick it up and I believe it also will hang it up. If I were to click that here in CarPlay, it doesn't do anything at the current moment. Um, all right, so if you guys have any questions, um, leave them in the comments down below. Uh, I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Uh, thank you again for watching and stay tuned for more.